MSA Sports Center stage alongside Quaker Valley's Connor Quinn. Connor, it's been a good season so far for the Quakers. You guys have been on quite a tear since early on the season. Talk a little bit about what's made the team special so far this season as you guys are on a quest to win another Penguins Cup. Yeah, after losing a lot of seniors, some of the people were kind of doubtful about the season, having a lot of young guys, but they've really stepped up into their new roles. And we have younger guys playing a lot more than they had to last year. And the way they've been able to just, like, get more into it from where we are in the season has been incredible to watch. You guys do have some returning talent, though, yourself being back this year. You had a big playoff run last year. Parker Sherry, of course, the goaltender, got a good playoff run for you as well en route to the Penguins Cup. Let's talk about a guy who's back this year, and Adam Pilowitz, and what he's brought back to the team. Oh, yeah, having him back is huge. Being able to bring that threat back up front, but also be able to play defense when you need him. Just an all-around solid player. And when you have a guy like that, it brings a lot of confidence to you and takes a lot of pressure for everyone else knowing you have him out there to help you. Well, you two together have some magic for sure. You guys set each other up a couple times tonight and missed on a couple good opportunities as well. I'm not sure if you know it or not, but you have back-to-back -back six point games and Mr. Pillow has ten points in his last two games. Yeah, we've been playing together for as long as I remember and like the chemistry you build over time, it really helps you on those. He's like, uh, just, I know where he's going to be, he knows where I'm going to be and that really helps you out. So, like, uh, like help you out in the offensive zone, so I know where he's going to be. So then, like, it helps us set each other up more. Well, you guys, besides your offensive prowess, are two pretty good penalty killers as well, and coming up with a couple of shorthanded goals as well. You take the re defensive responsibility as much of a priority as your offensive footwork as well. Yeah, it tends to, well, we usually focus on defense. Like, uh, it's like if you back check, forward check, the offense will come. Like we'll capitalize on their mistakes, and that's what we did on the penalty kill for a couple of shorties tonight. Where as soon as the defenseman fumbled the puck, we would just poke it and go in and score. So what is it that makes this Quaker Valley team as good as it's been so far? Because as you mentioned, there was a lot of veteran players lost, but what's made this, this season go so far? Because you guys are off to a great start, nine in a row now. Yeah, as you said, having Parker Sherry return, having that leadership and goal, and having uh, leaders such as like, Adam Pillitz, myself, and Jacob Kuzma, all people with a lot of varsity experience, being able to talk that into the younger guys and teach them and like, put it in the extra one-on-one -on -one time with them in practice. Having everyone on the same page and knowing the system that we've been using since we were in middle school, having everyone being on the same page really helps you out. There's no confusion. What are the goals for this Quaker Valley team this season? Obviously, we want to repeat what we did next year, get made for the Penguins Cup and uh, hopefully win the state championship. What about for yourself, Connor? What are you looking for the rest of the season? Uh, I'm looking to be a guy that the rest of the team looks up to. I want to be someone that I can be dependent on at the end of the game in like, the high-pressure situations. And having, that, having the other guys look up to you like that, it's a really big honor. Connor Quinn of Quaker Valley on the MSA Sports Center stage.